This week marks a big day in Austin's history. The iconic Driscoll Hotel turns 130 years old. And over that century, much has changed. Inside the historic Driscoll Hotel are 130 years of stories. It opened on December 20th, 1886, and we took a tour of the oldest operating hotel in Texas. The historic side upstairs in our, our guest rooms, the hallways are wide, wider than you've ever seen before because ladies used to pass in hoop skirts and they didn't want them, he didn't want them touching. Um, they wouldn't be able to pass through the hallways. In 1890, the Driscoll housed one of the first banks in Austin, American National Bank, and a little piece of it is still here today. Inside this vault is where you'll find the safety deposit boxes. Founder Jesse Driscoll's portrait hangs in the lobby. He was a cattle baron who moved to Texas and wanted to build a hotel that would rival all others around the world. During the mid-century, the famous cafe and bakery saved the landmark from destruction. The hotel had been closed and was going, everything had been auctioned off and sold out. The people who bought it were going to bring a wrecking ball in and, and demolish it. And now it's a part of our community. Everything is made from scratch. Um, Tony Sansaloni is our, our executive pastry chef. He does everything uh, along with his team. Right now, they're making large gingerbread men that we hang up for the holiday season. This room, the Victorian, was once a saloon, a cigar room, a nightclub, and one of Fox 7's favorites. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, Lady Bird would, um, because she was instrumental in bringing the radio station KTBC in, um, which is now KLBJ, Fox News. Um, so she was uh, the driving force behind it. A big part of the hotel's history is President Johnson's family. Let's go inside the presidential suite. It came to be that when he was running for president, um, he accepted the nomination here at the Driscoll um, on that balcony uh, overlooking 6th Street. It's the only room with a Lone Star fireplace, stained glass windows in the bathroom, and a custom-made shower to fit LBJ's six-foot-four frame. Another little-known fact, the Driscoll was where LBJ and Lady Bird had their first date and became engaged. The bar itself is, is a round bar, and it, it's a piece that was used in the Broadway show Cabaret. Um, and I'm not sure who owned it when they bought it, um, but uh, it was brought in and, and assembled um, so that is the mainstream of our bar. So no matter where you are in there, you can get to it. It's not a, a, a walk-up type bar. And as we move into the 21st century, there is no doubt the hotel remains a big part of our culture. And with its beauty and grace, a very special part of Austin and a part of Texas. And we're just here to make sure that we take care of it and keep enhancing it uh, and keep recording all the stories and the experiences that go within it.